Well, hello there again, everybody, and welcome back. This is part seven of our Polar Lights 1350 scale classic Enterprise build up. You can see what I'm working on today is I've got the uh, saucer going on here, and I'll take you around this and show you a little bit of what I'm doing. You can see I've got my LED strip lighting put in around the windows here, and all my wiring is uh, installed. I used a uh, parallel circuit, like you can see, so that all the uh, individual lights have uh, power going to them and uh, everything is hooked up. <clears throat> I'm hooking up the LED here in the center right now to light the uh, planetary sensor. I'm going to uh, try out a couple of different resistors to get the brightness of that just where I want it. But you can see I'm starting to put the window glass in and uh, I've routed some of the wiring here. I've got the, uh, the two LEDs for the impulse engines mounted in place. Let me go ahead and plug this in now. And you can see everything is working really nice. Uh, got the glowing impulse engines here at the back and we'll get those lined up uh, exactly right with the little grills once we get the uh, impulse deck put in place so I'm just tidying this up right now I've still got to put some wiring from the strobes over here to the navigation lights uh, on both sides and uh, we want to make sure that we get enough light on the top and the bottom I might go with two bulbs uh, one pointing directly over kind of sideways and one facing straight up uh, we'll see what I need to do with that here in a minute but uh, Things are looking pretty good, and then what I'll be doing is adding some more lighting on the top of the saucer that will uh, shine down in here to light the windows, and then we've got to put some in the center here facing up to light up the bridge. Uh, so that's what I'll be working on. I'll be back in a little while, guys, and uh, we'll show you an update. And uh, hopefully today we'll get the saucer down, and uh, I'll show you the work that I'm doing on the engine nacelle. So we'll be back in just a couple seconds. Hang tight. Well, hey there, everybody. we got a big shipwreck here going on. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad, guys. What I'm doing is I'm uh, getting ready to flip the saucer over now and seal it onto the top. You can see I've got the nacelles mounted on, too. And um, I'll show you what I've been working on here. I've got the rest of the lighting wired in here. Of course, I'm going to tack everything down before I close it all up, but I had to leave a little bit of slack uh, so I could show you what I'm doing here. You can see I've got my uh, navigation lights installed on the top, and those have been light blocked so that our colors don't bleed into the windows and the surrounding lights and uh, everything's ready to go here and what I did here at the center is I put some more uh, strip lighting that'll shine down and light the lower saucer windows and then I put a piece of uh, uh, sheet styrene there in the center with some uh, strip LEDs mounted on the bottom side of it that will light the, uh, the bridge so what I'm gonna do right now is get this flipped over and get it glued down and uh, tuck all my wires down first of course and and uh, we're going to get this closed up, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like all lit up. And uh, things should be looking pretty good, so we'll be back in just a second, guys. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and you can see that the old gray lady is really starting to take shape here. She's looking gorgeous. Everything turned out perfectly straight and true. I'll give you a perfect uh, head-on shot of this, and you can see that our uh, engines and everything are nice and straight. That's what's so nice about this kit. It's built so solid and everything that you really can't go wrong with the saucer and the neck and the engine alignment. I had it upside down on some spacers letting it dry for a little while, but you can see I've got the uh, uh, saucer top down on it. We had no issues with that at all. And uh, all of our lighting is coming through beautifully. Uh, these I will be filling with some uh, crystal clear when uh, I finish doing the uh, sanding and putting on the saucer edge. And then here at the rear, you can see I haven't put on the impulse deck yet because I have to do that puttying first and we'll get that all cleaned up but you can see we've got the nice little LEDs going on in there they're lined up just right to line up with the uh, grills I love that effect that they're that pulsing effect that they're doing and here you can see we've got our navigation lights working on the uh, port and starboard sides uh, there are some bigger lenses that go over the top of these that I'll be putting on uh, and they'll light up nice and bright once uh, I put those down and you can see what I did here is I used the kit included uh, white inserts for all of these uh, inserts on the top because I think the studio model had sort of a, a opaque white looking they looked uh, different than the regular window lighting on the model I really think they look great because the light shines through them really good and they look nice and bright and clear and I think that looks beautiful now here you can see I've got the bridge all lit up and uh, let me get you a shot down inside you can see we've got all of our beautiful screens lit up our control panels and uh, the bridge just looks awesome in this. It turned out beautifully. And John's really going to have fun with that when he has people over, when they can look in there and see the crew and 
all the nice detail and everything in there. All you need is the sound effects and you have a beautiful bridge there. You can see we got the view screen going on and uh, uh, the little red beacon lights there are working on the side and all of our window lighting looks beautiful on it. You can see in the shot here that the paint is really nice and smooth. Uh, the nacelles turned out beautifully. All the seams are really uh, perfect on it. All disappeared and down here you can see the, uh, the neck and the uh, side lighting here. How nice and clean everything looks. And then on the bottom side you can see our window lighting here with our planetary sensor. Uh, and our navigation lights there on the bottom. My camera will stay focused. There we go. Um, and the white light on the side there. So yeah, everything is great on this. And here we go back and take another look at the shuttle bay again. And what I'll be doing on the next video is I'm going to be going in and uh, adding that fan tail piece. We're going to be piece. We're going to be using the clear part. So what I'll do is I'll light block that and I'll paint some uh, uh, transparent colors on the backside for the uh, landing lights. And then I'm going to be uh, filling in the light leaks around the edges of the wall of the shuttle bay there, and then painting that arch up at the top and get that all cleaned up. And then we'll put the uh, the uh, dome on and the piece that goes up above there. I think that's another approach light above on the ceiling that sticks out. We'll get that put on, and we've got our little beacons here to put on at the rear. And then we'll start putting on all the decals. Uh, you can see I've got my wires ran through for the power for the Bassard effects, and that's all wired down here to the bottom where it'll hook to the switch. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. I just uh, had them coming out of the nacelle, and I used the wire to pull them through because I built the nacelles and then just uh, pulled the wiring through like that, so that worked out really slick. Then we're going to be putting on all the beautiful photo etch detail here in the trenches there on the sides and on the... Uh, support pylons there and that's really going to add some spice to this too so it's really going to come out nice and uh, once the decals all start going on it's really going to start looking like the enterprise so i hope you're happy with what you see here john it's turning out beautifully no problems at all everything's going to be nice and sturdy on it and solid we'll do a little weathering here on the leading edges you know like i did on the other one the little kind of splash marks and uh, i don't want to overdo it though we'll probably do a little bit of the rustering detail here around uh close to the uh registry name but uh, we're not going to go too heavy on the uh, weathering on this. So, okay, guys. Well, that's going to be a wrap. Like I said, I'll be back in a couple days here, uh, getting toward the weekend. And uh, this model will probably be done this weekend. I'm getting very, very close now. So, thanks for following along. Thanks for all the nice comments, guys. And uh, thanks for all the inquiries about the model builds, too. And if I've missed some of you guys out there, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, there's a lot of them coming in, so I apologize if I've missed you. All right, everybody, we'll take care. Happy modeling, and we'll catch up with you in the next couple of days.